G'day, I'm Graham Murphy, a product manager here at Tech Reynolds. Today I'm just going to look at the um, this solar IV tester. This is for um, proving whether or not your solar panels are operating to specification. Okay, first thing we've got to do on the panel we're testing, we've got to check that the um, the sun is the angle that we're able to still do the test. Right, so in other words, we put this on the panel and we check that the shadow is within this line here. Okay, um, in order to do this test, we need to measure the temperature of the panel. So I'm going to just simply connect a temperature sensor to the, the back of the panel. Okay, this is basically what we're testing here. This is an 80 watt panel and these are all the specifications. Okay, so we're um, setting things up. Uh, it says that it's a monocrystalline. Okay, now we, this is our, um, we, we need to measure the intensity of the sun so we can actually yeah, get a valid measurement because we have to uh, adjust it for standard conditions. So in this case, this is our um, little uh, device for doing that. Um, in here we have the sensitivity, the calibrated sensitivity is 25.17 for a mono panel. Now I need to set this device up, so I'm going to turn it on. Right, it's turned on. Now, um, under settings, we can set the K factor, 27.15, it's been preset. Okay, we now need to, to plug this device in, so I'm just going to plug in the mono reading into this point here. And uh, just make sure that goes in the right way. And we also need to plug our temperature sensor in which is um, here. So we've now connected our temperature sensor. Okay, we've set the, um, you know, our, our, the, the intensity of the sun, this watts per meter squared measurement up here. Um, and it should be in exactly the same plane as the solar panel. We're slightly out here, but it's, um, we have a, a, a screw on uh, mount and we'd normally mount it on the side, but at the moment I haven't got chance to do that so I'm just going to put it in approximately the same plane. There'll be errors of course with the measurement accordingly. Okay we also need to plug the instrument in. Um, here's the instrument we've got the wires colored coded etc and we plug um, the, with these appropriate solar panel plugs. So we've now connected the solar panel to our instrument. Okay, we're going to do the um, IV test, which is a uh, thing here. We enter. Now we're picking up all the readings that it's being transmitted by radio. This thing needs to be turned on, of course. Now we just simply hit go and we get our measurement. And it's 2% down. And in this condition, that's pretty because we've had to jerry rig it up. So I'm going to just save that reading there and um, there's various conditions under it saved. Right, we've saved our data.